Guys, 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 guys. I'm so excited. Why? Because we're almost finished these map making guides. That's why. This is it. This is almost the last one. It's definitely the last one for this map. There is one more guide to come, and for the sake of continuity, we'll call that one Map Making Lesson 6. But for the moment, we are in Lesson 5, and I am so excited. I'm also pretty confident that this will be a quick one. The last one took me all week to write, record, edit, etc., etc. But I am confident I can do this one in a single day. It does not matter that I said the same thing about the others. This one, I'm sure, is going to be quick. Unless I continue wasting time by pointlessly waffling on. So I'll stop doing that. Let's get to the important shit. This, I pray to Odin that you remember, is Trowulan. It's the map we've been making based on the ancient Indonesian capital. And the map is pretty much finished. And when I say pretty much, I mean it is. It's finished. There's nothing else to do. Except... It's not yet ready for publishing. I mean, you could publish this if you're the kind of person who just doesn't care about appearances. But I do care about appearances, so we've got to get this ready for publishing. This will be easy enough. All we really need to do is, one, record the map info. Two, take some photos. Three, make those photos paradox ready. And four, add some other map info. And there's also a five and a six, but we'll get to that. Sounds easy enough, right? correct because it's so easy I wonder if there's even any point in making this video still I'm here now so let's crack on one recording our map info at the main menu we click new game and then up to custom maps here's my smorgasbord of stuff I have and haven't published yet you can basically tell what I haven't published by whether or not it has a presentable photo or not the map we've been working on is Tro Wulan 2, so click that, but don't start a new game with it yet. Now, over on the right of the screen, we'll see this map's information, buildable area, temperatures, etc., etc. It's worth noting this for later because it's useful to include on the Paradox Mod site when we get there. You don't have to, of course, you can just leave your published map blank, sans informations, but trust me, it's better that you don't. I think we should all know by now that the internet is absolutely filled with pissy man-children just looking for any excuse to get their knickers in a twist and bash their anger into their keyboard. And so to avoid them types, it's worth recording that information to keep them happy. So do that. Write down that buildable area. Tell them all the resources are there. Let them know about that lovely climate. And don't forget to inform on the best methods to escape your city as fast as possible should the opportunity arise. Okay, so our next job is to grab some photos. So into the game we load. The Paradox mod site allows 10 photos to be uploaded. So take 10 minimum. I usually take some more just because it means I can discount the ones that I later decide are crap. So down to the bottom of the screen and click the camera to take some gorgeous pictures. Now, the very first picture I'm going to take while I remember is a nice, clean, top-down image, bird's-eye view of the center of my map. This picture is going to be the thumbnail for our map in-game. I'll take more than one, of course, to allow for my crappy photography skills. None of these are really good enough. The thing is about the camera mode is it doesn't let you zoom out enough. So you're often not going to get a good bird's-eye view with camera mode. Sometimes it's worth exiting back to game, zooming out properly, and then using the print screen button on your keyboard to get a proper photo. Alt-Tab out and save it in Paint before continuing. You can get far more of the map into your photo this way, so far more is then visible in the thumbnail picture we're going to make soon enough. Okay, back to the game to take the rest. Speaking about tangents, I promise not to go off on. Does anyone else think it's weird that a game which was published so full of bugs and so unfinished somehow had this amazingly functional camera mode like the game came out with so much still to be finished but this camera mode this camera mode was bloody perfect mate perfect how odd like they couldn't get the game ready in time but the ability for us to take photos and post online to give them free advertisement that was polished and perfect i'm not much of a conspiracy theorist but dude i'm pretty sure that was not a mistake so here I am anyway, taking photos and posting them online, feeding into the corporate machine, advertising their stuff for free like the idiot that I absolutely am. Anyway, as you can see, I'm making a point of taking photos at different points of the day, different angles, different lighting positions, and different clouds. You should play around with these options to find what you like. The camera mode goes much, much deeper than this, but I'm a simple man, and I get confused easily by all that focal lens stuff, so I just stick to time of day, angles and playing with clouds. 
I'm no expert, but it's nice to get them as beautiful as possible. You do, after all, want people to see the beauty and download your map to play, right? Okay, so, bish, bash, bosh, and I'm finito. Okay, now the thing is that, that as perfect as our camera mode is, it actually takes photos that are just too big for the PDX mod site, which is kind of dumb. But whatever's, it does mean, though, that our photos are going to need to be resized before uploading. We will need to exit back to desktop now, since the game doesn't allow its folders to be refreshed, and so those folders won't be updated until we reload the game. And we need to edit these photos first. So off to the game screenshots folder we go. The address for this is on screen and in the description below. Now, I am an absolute boss, so I've already made a shortcut of this on my desktop. So follow me as we go on a journey. Okay, journey finished. And as we can see, I've gotten a bit carried away and taken a total of 31 photos, of which we only need 10 of them. Still lots of choice, I suppose. It's worth cutting and pasting these to a separate folder at the moment, not forgetting, of course, that separate print screen photo I took earlier also. Here's mine, a separate folder of stuff, all for Trowu Land, but thing is, if we click on them for a second, we'll see in the info box at the right of the screen that they are pretty big. 5.39 megabytes, 5.41 megabytes, 5.2, etc., etc. Thing is, the maximum allowed size for uploading to our PDX mods listing is 2 megabytes, so we have to resize them. Now, the truth is, I usually use Photoshop for this, but that's only because I need to have Photoshop for work, and there are few things on the face of this planet I resent more than paying a monthly subscription for Adobe. I have to pay for Photoshop and Illustrator, and I'm really pissed off about it. Anyway, since I am aware many of you don't have these programs, there are websites we can use to resize the photos instead. Personally, I like ReduceImages.com. It's easy enough and works hassle-free. Just drag in your photo, select your desired output size, and download. Now do that with the thumbnail and your favorite 10 photos from the shit ton we took earlier. They'll be saved in your downloads folder, so don't forget to move them over to your photos folder before we continue. If you're using Photoshop, then it's image, image size, and then resize. The PDX mod's maximum is 1280 by 720, so may as well do that. Now we're almost ready, right? Kinda, almost. You see, when you upload a photo to the game or to the PDX mod site, and I'm talking about the photo that Paradox uses for the thumbnail photo on the mod site, Paradox only uses the central square of that image and doesn't display anything else. Not sure what I mean. I'm not surprised. I can't explain for shit. I used to be a teacher. Thank France I got out of that profession, huh? Anyway, to help explain what I mean, this right here is the image I used for my Drama Dune map, all lovely and rectangular and stuff. But this is how it appears on the Paradox Mods site, only that Central Square is featured. If you don't give a shit about putting any text, logos or names onto the Paradox listing, then this next bit doesn't matter. But if you're vain like me, then it's worth remembering to put all your text or artwork onto the Central Square of your image. Also be aware that of the first two images we upload into the game, your preview image is the one that Paradox will first use as your maps listing image. You can change this later, but at first upload, your preview image is the one that gets used first. Now, I've done this a few too many times now, so I've already pre-made this file for using with my maps, with a middle square pre-drawn in order to help my simple bird brain cope. I'll remove the square from the image first before uploading, and this is going to be my Paradox listing's pretty square image. You like? I like ya! You know like me no care. Right now, export that and save it with some beautifully useful name, like for example, Trowel and Preview. Or whatever name you want to save it as, something you can find easily later. Okay, now same goes for your thumbnail. Whatever you upload to the game, the central part of that image is what will be used. Or you can do what I do. For the thumbnail, I like to be a little more precise. So, I make a new square image in Photoshop, make it small enough to avoid large file upload problems later. This will do. If you don't have Photoshop, then I'm sure other programs like GIMP will do, or you can just avoid this altogether and rely on the game to find your image center instead. Into this, I drag my pre-planned thumbnail photo, size it to fit, find what I like, and jobs are good on. Export as, and it's almost time to foff. Now you might be wondering, what is all this focus on thumbnails and preview photos? What are those and what's the difference? Well, when you start a new game, you are presented with a screen and lots of map options. 
Those square images on the left, usually with a bird's eye view of your map, are the thumbnail images. And once you click a map, that giant beautiful image on the right is your preview image. And that's what we've just spent the last forever creating. Maybe I should have explained this earlier. Should I have explained this earlier? Probably, I just didn't think you'd not know. Anyway, if you did know, then you've learned nothing. And if you didn't know, congratulations. Your brain is now a percentile bigger than it was before. You may thank me later. I accept payment in the form of money and or alcohol, whichever you have the most of. As I now cross the 10 minute mark, I would like to go on record as saying that I was very wrong. I am now in day two, and this video isn't even close to being finished yet. Can you really believe I thought I'd get all this done in a less than five minute video? I wonder at which point in my life will I stop being wrong all the bloody time? Is there an age you cross and that point you stop being stupid? If there is, then nobody I know has reached it yet. Well, fingers crossed, eh? We live in hope. Anyway, let's bash on into day two. Okay, so we've made our photos, but now our job is to put them back into the game screenshots folder. So do that like your life depended on it, or if you prefer, do it like you just don't care, whichever you're most comfortable with. Done it? Okay, good, I swear, we're like 75% of the way there. Now let's load the game back up and back into the editor we go. Here's our almost finished map, Trowulan, ready to be finished off. So it's time to set our photos. This is easy, up to the top left and click map then. Off to the menu on the right, scroll down, and we'll see our two boxes for selecting our photos. As logic dictates, click Preview. This will take us to the Screenshots folder where we select our pre-made preview photo. Next, down to Thumbnail and repeat, select our pre-made thumbnail photo. Holy shit, we're almost done, lads. Almost done. One final thing, though. Our map lacks any decent description or name. So here's a wee one I prepared earlier about this beautiful city and beautiful history of this wee bit of Indonesia. I'm simply going to copy-paste this into the map description box at the top right of the editor. And one last thing before we save for the last time, give it a decent, more presentable name. Save and exit to menu, right, next bit. If we want our paradox listing to have a thread where people can leave us comments, then we need to create that thread separately. Maybe you don't want people to leave you messages telling you your map is shit. Maybe you do, assuming that you do appreciate some constructive criticism given to you in the form of all caps letters and angry emojis. We're going to need to head to the Paradox CS2 Mods Forum, link on screen and in description below, assuming I also remember to put it there later after I've uploaded this video. It looks like this. Just post a new thread, title it correctly and submit. OK, so we've created our thread. Do you see it? Now copy its URL from the top of your browser because we're going to need that in a few seconds. Back into the New Game section and find our map, then Select Map and next click Share Map. Give it a nice short description for now and leave the long description. We'll do that properly later. Next, paste that URL link we just copied a few seconds ago and finally submit. Now wait. And if all goes well, your map will now be successfully uploaded to the Paradox Mods website, sitting there all beautiful like and ready to be played. But wait, we still ain't finished finished. There's still a tiny, tiny wee bit to do. Now let's go visit the Paradox Mods site to find our map, link below. Go log into your profile, go to your uploaded mods, and under the most recent filter, you will now see your new upload. Here's mine, all 99% done that it is. Still, that last 1%, though, click into your upload and you'll see that it only has that one single photo. But there's space for more. Also, your long description is a bit shit, too, so let's fix that. At the top, click Edit New Version. In the first page we see, I'm going to paste that map description we added earlier, and I'm also going to paste that map information that we were careful to take note of too. And now folk know what the map is and nobody can complain you didn't tell them so. And then at the bottom, click next step. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I am so excited. We're on the last fracking page, guys, the last page. Scroll down to gallery images and delete the pic that's already there. Now, you remember those 10 favorite photos we prepared earlier, drag them in. Now, at this point, I'm reminded what I forgot earlier. When I was taking those photos, 
I also meant to take a photo of the map's resources because people do like to see them too. Thing is, I forgot to do that earlier, so at some point between you listening to me start this paragraph and these words you're hearing right now, I had to go back into the game and take another bloody photo of the resources, which then also needed resizing and blah 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 blah. Jesus H. Joseph, we're done now though, and my second page looks like this. Finally, up to the top and click Save Changes. And that's all, ladies and gents! We have just prepared and published our first map. Well, your first map. <laughs> I've done shitloads. But you have just prepared and published your first map, and for that I am very, 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 very proud. Congratulations. Ten points to your Hufflepuff. My favourite bit is the bit where this video didn't take me a whole week. I told you I'd get it done all in one day. I was wrong, but that's beside the point. It still didn't take me a whole week. Therefore, I retract five points from your Hufflepuff and award them to myself, so thank you. Anyway, I hope this final lesson wasn't a complete waste of your time. It's likely you learned absolutely nothing. This is a pretty basic lesson, and it's highly probable that given the genius you are, you'd have figured it all out on your own anyway. Still, though, it was fun, wasn't it? So much fun, in fact, that I'm going to run off now and beat my head off the corner of the closest wall until the delirium takes me somewhere nice. So that's where I'm going now. <laughs> somewhere nice. Thank you for joining me in this lesson, though. There is one more, though. I haven't thought of a title for it yet, but it's going to be about hillsides and hard rivers. So that's its nom de guerre for the time being. Thanks for watching. Don't forget the liking and subscribing with your gorgeous, sexy fingerings. I'm off like a COVID cough. See you next time. Cheerio!